Hey hey guys, this is Joe with That Hashtag Show. I am here with executive producer Chip Lynn for Power Rangers Dino Charge. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Uh, my first thing I want to say is welcome back. Thank you very much. It's good uh, to be back. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you back, actually. Um, Power Rangers, you you are, you are know Power Rangers inside out. You know these characters very well. I've even heard from some of the cast members that you take uh, some of their ideas and infuse them into their characters a little bit. Can you tell me about that a little bit? Uh, I take their ideas and infuse them into... Actually, what I do is... Um, we created the characters to begin with for the show, and there's a lot of rangers this time, so it's a little bit bigger task than usual. And then after the actors are cast, we kind of see what their fortes are, and we can kind of take um, their real personalities and their real traits and kind of um, amp the character up a little bit by using what they can realistically do. That's really interesting, actually. Uh, with previous seasons under your belt, uh, obviously I know Dino Charges, I think it's a great season so far, but what was some of your most memorable seasons working on, and, and you were like, yeah, that one, that one like hit. Well, I started off as a production manager, so it was mostly kind of nuts and bolts stuff. Um, and those were memorable, but for a different reason. So then I became kind of a, the creative head, so I started doing the stories and directing and that kind of thing. Um, and at that time we were doing like Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Um, and those, so those were kind of my favorites because it wasn't just me driving trucks and loading camera equipment. Now suddenly I was getting the right scripts and actually meet with the actors and, you know, create dialogue. And it's, it's kind of a magical thing to be able to write something on a page and then a week later actually see the dailies coming in your office and watch it and see it actually come to life. So there isn't anything, any season in particular, any episode in particular that I love more than the other ones that the real magic to the process to me is just being able to write a script and can actually just have a story that you think is great, work it out on paper, which is a trick, and then actually have your actors bring it to life for you. Yeah, I think it's super challenging to uh, actually take something like the Sentai that exists, obviously, and you make a story and a, co a cohesive story out of what you do, which is quite the uh, process, I'm sure, right? It's, it's a big process. It's, there's a lot of moving parts between um, the Sentai footage, which is always a trick, um, the cast itself, which is, it can be a bit of a trick, and of course we have you know the toy elements that we have to incorporate, um, and then we have to you know the setting is unique. We have all these. You know, we have space elements. We have dinosaur elements. Each season is completely unique, and then of course there's additional challenges. Maybe we want to bring back old rangers or something like that. To fit it all into um, what we have to do and create an interesting arc so that each one of the episodes ties together is is a real challenge. Right, and also you have continuity, because I know a lot of fans were really hardcore on continuity, so that's, a, that's an, another challenge in itself, I'm sure, right? The, 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 the fans are, are a huge challenge because they, they make us do our homework. If we mess up, they point it out. Um, but at the same time, I think that we outfoxed them a couple times this season because there are a few things that have already kind of aired and people have said, ah, you made a mistake. But as they see in the ensuing episodes, you're going to realize it wasn't a mistake. They actually fooled them and it's going to, it's some kind of clever loopholes that we pay made. Off. Yeah, it's going to pay off. Nice, nice. Um, a little, another question I have, this is, I used to be a production manager as well. Really? How, yeah, I did. For, yeah, it's, 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 it was tough work. Uh, um, how was that transition going to the creative side? Um, well, you know, it's like you can't really say which ones are more difficult because they're both really difficult. They both are seven day a week, 12 hour a day jobs, but they're different sides of the brain, right? Um, there's something nice about being on the set and getting to see what people are doing and, and kind of have your, your finger on the pulse of the crew. But at the same time, to be able to actually um, do the creative side, I mean, you can go home at five o'clock, but you're still working till midnight because your brain is always turning trying to figure these things out. And whether something works or doesn't work, you take the blame um, or you take the credit. And so I, I think that overall I would have to say that the creative side is much more enjoyable for me. That's awesome. Uh, I know you guys got Power Rangers Dino Charge. The season after is going to be Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. Uh, any word on uh, adapting the Ninja as your next Power Ranger series, or is that too far in the future for you? It's above my pay grade. As it turns out, you know, I, I can do the nuts and bolts side from, because I was a UPM. I can do the creative side because now I'm a producer. But whether or not they do this season or that, um, they take, you know, metrics into account that I'm really not aware of. So I wait till they come up. With, they, they ask me to look at the footage and give them a creative um, opinion as to which one might be best to adapt. But they also know a lot of other stuff that I, I'm just not interested in knowing, you know. And uh, they don't mess with my scripts and I don't mess with their toys and all that kind of stuff. And it makes it good. Uh, this is going to be super random and fan service to myself, but uh, my favorite ranger of all time is the Phantom Ranger. Now, according to you, in your opinion, who it would be the Phantom Ranger to you? Well, 
Did you notice at Halloween that we finally revealed who the Phantom <laughs> Ranger was? I think that was April Fools. What? No. Oh, that April Fools? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, just that was coincidental. It wasn't meant to be a joke. No, I, um, uh, the Phantom Ranger. Well, yeah. The Phantom Let's make it somebody because it's it's killing me, Chip. I've had this for since Turbo. I, I want to know who this guy is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. There's too many different opinions, and once I say something, then of course everyone's gonna shoot me down. Um, so I better not say anything. So I'm, I'm not gonna rule out that the Phantom Ranger could appear sometime down the line, because we, I mean, it's open-ended, right? You know what? When I was a kid, I always thought the most awesome thing would be to take different superheroes and put them on the same show. But it never happened because I had no idea that who owned what. In my, my, in my mind, they were all just freelancers, right? Um, but as it turns out, of course. Superheroes are, are go with certain companies or certain. So, but in the Power Ranger world, we have all the Power Rangers at our disposal. So, um, last season in Megaforce, we had a lot of, of comebacks, right? A lot of a lot of Rangers that made a return, and therefore in Dino Charge, it's not really a priority to have old Rangers come back. But in ensuing seasons, if I'm around and if I'm in charge, um, I think it's actually a lot of fun. So I think you'll see more of it. I like that answer, Chip. Thank you, and we hope that uh, <laughs> at coming up seasons that you're definitely a huge part of that so thank you so much for this season thank you for uh, everything you've done in the Power Ranger lexicon of history or whatever uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and an honor so thank you it's a pleasure to have you come talk to me I appreciate it thank you